<laughs> that was amazing. Um, hi, my name is Yvonne Liao. I'm really happy to be here. Um, this is actually my first time being at this conference, and also um, really excited to report that I will be a Knight Fellow at Stanford this fall. But before that, before that, uh, I was at the Associated Press, and before that, I mean, then after that, uh, I decided to join this newsroom startup called uh, Digital First Media's Project Thunderdome. Yes. Um, for those who are not familiar, it is a newspaper group, but we basically created a startup within it. And today, I want to talk about how to survive a newsroom implosion. Um, thank you, Neiman Lab, for the term. But essentially, Thunderdome is over. It's completely gone. And um, these are kind of the lessons that I've learned from going through that experience. So Project Thunderdome generates a lot of Mad Max, and there's this saying, um, two men enter, one man leaves. Um, I would highly recommend to not do that when you're trying to go through a newsroom implosion. In fact, I would do the opposite. I would try and stick together. And I think that's a really important thing. Um, for our newsroom, I think that was one of the best things about the culture, is that when everything is starting to hit the fan, you still have these relationships, and though that's really what's going to bring you to the next level and kind of cultivate um, that kind of community. So definitely stick together. It's not one woman for herself. And um, it's really hard to, it's really easy to say, just forget it. Um, but then one of the things that we actually did in the process, community fans, community fans, thank you, uh, build a safe house. And what I mean by that is when we were going through all of this turmoil, we were talking on Skype, we had Slack groups, we had a Facebook group, we had a Google group. We were always talking to one another and supporting one another, doing, well, editing resumes, doing headshots for each other, reviewing portfolios. And that type of experience is very enriching. And on top of that, it's just embrace your strengths. This is a really key moment when you've lost your job, you don't know what's going on, try to figure out exactly what you want to do again, and don't rush yourself, and try and figure out you know, what's the next step? Because it's really easy to second guess yourself, especially when there's rounds of layoffs, and like me, I was the first round, and you kind of question your abilities, and it's very emotionally unstable and insecure, but that's the process, you don't have to be a victim of it. Secondly, spread the word. Uh, hopefully there's some Office fans too. Uh, spread the word, let people know that what has happened is actually not a result of your doing, but is just situational and circumstantial at some extent. And it's very easy to just say, you know, this is kind of embarrassing, but I think that's, you have to push against that stereotype or that mentality and really let people know that you're looking for new opportunities, that this has happened, because I think we'll all be pleasantly surprised by what happens next when they re reach out to you. And then interviewing, talking to people, those informational interviews, coffee shops, and, and meeting and grabbing coffee with people, take the long view. Because at the end of the day, it could be a numbers game. And that type of cultivation takes a long time to kind of figure out what's next. But again, it's, you're very emotionally vulnerable and secure just being back on the market again, not really sure what's going on, and it wasn't of your doing. So you kind of have to play with the punches and see how it goes. At the end of the day, be sure to pay it forward. I think that's something that's easily overlooked because you're taking in all of these words of encouragement, all of the support. Um, definitely make sure that you're also trying to pay it forward and helping people along the way in their careers because surviving a newsroom implosion isn't just a singular experience. A lot of people go through a lot of layoffs, especially in our industry. So last but not least, Anticipation, anticipation, anticipation. <laughs> um, make sure that you are also trying to seize the moment and really kind of embrace what it's like, even when it feels like things are hitting the fan. And so dance. And that really is just kind of, you know, taking a break, enjoying it, while also realizing that this is not the ideal situation, but it's life, and life will always have ups and downs, and just dance. Just listen to music, um, have Joyce play for you, um, and just kind of in, in, embrace the situation, go spend time with friends, relax, and I think having that anxiety off of you, you'll do a lot better. So, how to survive a newsroom implosion. Thank you.